Hi, my name is Shazli Hassan and I'm the lead pharmacist for Pharmacy Republic in Nebula Health. Today we're going to look at fat. We're going to look at what fat is, how the body detects fat, what is the purpose of fat and why it's so hard to lose fat. Okay, so the first thing uh, with regards to fat is to point out that fat is actually an organ, like our heart is an organ, our lungs are organs, and we know that organs serve a particular purpose. So what is the purpose of fat if it's an organ? Well, the purpose of fat is that it's an energy source. So the body views fat differently to how you and I would view fat. We would see fat as being rather unsightly, but the body will see fat as an immense energy source where it can draw on these reserves when times get lean, okay? Also, being an organ, the uh, fat can release hormones into the body to communicate with other parts of the body which are distant, for example, the brain. So the hormone that the body, the fat releases into the bloodstream is leptin. So leptin literally is a fat sensor. It tells the brain that this particular part of the brain called the hypothalamus, which is like the grand sensor of all things in the blood, it tells the hypothalamus the status of the energy uh, reserve that the body has, i.e. it tells the body how, it tells the hypothalamus how much fat we have. Now, if we go back to looking as fat as an energy source, so it serves a very, very important purpose. So when we're not eating, obviously we still need energy and that energy is derived from our fat so, uh, stores. So women, they need to be a certain weight for them to become pregnant. So very thin or anorexic women lose the capacity to have a monthly period. And this is the body's way of telling the woman that you do not have enough fat stores or energy to sustain a pregnancy because a pregnancy is a very demanding energy dependent process so the body needs to make sure there's adequate fat and if there isn't then the woman will stop menstruating okay so that's the first take-home message fat does serve a purpose and it is important and it allows us to survive when times get hard in periods of starvation Okay, so let's look at a couple of scenarios when fat increases and when fat decreases and why it's so difficult to lose weight. Okay, so as we've said, the fat releases a hormone called leptin and leptin is the fat sensor of the body. So when in the scenario where we follow a good diet, we may be following a keto diet, doing loads of exercise and we lose fat, as a consequence, our leptin levels decrease. So this will go up to the hypothalamus the hypothalamus will detect these lowered leptin levels and will introduce changes, uh, will introduce processes to, um, to reverse that change, okay? So once it detects a lowered level of leptin, it will try to reverse that by causing an increase in appetite and a decrease in metabolism. So we use less energy. Okay, so this is why when we adopt a diet, we will get lowered leptin levels and we'll find, we'll have these hunger pains, we'll find it incredibly difficult to stop eating and we will feel sluggish. And this is because of the hypothalamus's response to the lowered leptin levels. Okay, so what happens in the reverse scenario? When we adopt a poor diet, we don't exercise, then inevitably we will increase our fat levels. And as a consequence, this increased level of fat will release more leptin into the blood. This increased leptin will travel to the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus will measure this increased level of leptin against a baseline. OK, and that baseline is our set weight. OK, so we'll come back to the set weight in a bit uh, in a few moments. So again, the hypothalamus will try to introduce processes to reverse the change. So in this case, we have increased levels of leptin. And so the hypothalamus will decrease appetite and increase metabolism. And hopefully this will work to lower the leptin levels. And as a consequence, the fat levels 
will decrease as well. And again, the hypothalamus, what it's doing, it's measuring the levels of fat against the baseline. And so we have this set weight around which we hover. So usually what happens, we diet, we're very enthusiastic, we follow the diet meticulously and we lose loads of weight. But the, we're working against the hypothalamus because the hypothalamus doesn't know that we're intentionally depriving our body of food. It thinks we are starving to death. So we're literally starving to death in the midst of plenty. Okay, and so the hypothalamus will work to resist this perceived lack of, uh, this perceived starvation. And it will do so, as we've said, by increasing appetite and decreasing metabolism. Okay, so we always hover around this set weight, which is why it's so difficult to lose weight because the hypothalamus is always trying to return us to that. And it will introduce these measures, which we find very difficult to resist. Okay, so that concludes today's uh, video. Hopefully you've come to appreciate what fat is and why it's so important to us. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to us. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you, see you next time, bye.